Hey guys, it's Candy again here from Candy's Craft Corner .com, and also Candy's Craft Corner 1 here on YouTube. Just want to share a short video with you today on how I store my Copic markers. Hey, okay, we'll go down here to my desk. Pull my chair in. Okay, so I have all my Copics stored here on my desk in these um, little boxes, plastic bins that I got from Walmart. I was actually going to buy those Copic holders, you know, the, the ones I'm talking about, the ones, the white boxes with all the pretty drawers that hold the Copics. Well, they were like 20 bucks each. And then the ship here to Canada, it probably would have cost me, I don't know, 60 bucks or something. So it would have cost me about 150 bucks for that storage system for my Copics. So you all know how dis dis disgustingly expensive Copics are. So I didn't want to spend that for storage. So um, when I got my new desk, uh, which I just got last week, my husband bought for me. I used to have a desk that was six inches wider lost six inches of storage space in the back you all know how what a big deal um storage space is on your desk so anyway these containers used to be right here okay but they are over 10 inches wide so they would come to about here on my desk so i would only have that much on my mat so that wasn't happening so I decided to put those over here to the side, move my desk more to the middle. And so I had all this space in the back. So I thought, well, hmm, what can I put there? So I was watching all the Copic storage videos on the computer and what everyone was doing. So I thought, well, I had these plastic bins. I'm going to try to make some of these myself. So that's what I did. So I, sorry, I'm just really chatty today. Anyway, so I took some of the foam foam core board Let's see if I can get one of these down for you there we go and um, I glue I glued them in there um, these here are my skin tones I use them all the time so I just made a little special spot for them um, my spica pins okay so I just glued a piece of can get some of the markers out here hold on sorry guys I glued a piece of chipboard to the bottom. See that back there? Okay. Once I had the chipboard glued to the bottom, what I did was I started gluing these little dividers in. And I mainly went by, you know, how many's in the color group. Like for um, the earth tones, there's tons of them. So I had to make, uh, like you see here, a wider space for them. So as you can see and I'm going to show you underneath and normally I wouldn't but it's not pretty you see all the the nice glue globs and whatnot anyway I'm not proficient with a glue gun but I got the job done oh, hopefully the markers don't go all crazy flying everywhere hey okay. oh actually you can see the glue strings still sticking out there anyway so this little plastic crate, I'm sure you guys have seen them at Walmart. They're just supposed to go in lockers. So like I said, two bucks a piece, right? Foam core board, what is that? Like, I don't even know, five bucks a piece? I'm not sure. I don't know if I can get to the back on here. No. I'm gonna, oh yeah, I got it back. So they link together. That. yeah so instead of spending like 150 bucks which I probably wouldn't have anyway on Copic storage I spent six dollars well really not even six bucks because I already had the, t the these things uh, so it would have cost you it'll cost you six bucks for these things five bucks for the foam core board 11 bucks and you got your Copic storage and it's just, it's a pretty small footprint. It's like six inches wide. And then here I can store my Copic journal. Okay, guys. So that's my little Copic storage. Hope you liked my video today. Stay tuned for the next one. Okay, take care, guys. Bye.